doing a Freddy Fazbear build challenge, but I'm secretly gonna be using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive Freddy Fazbear. But little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up the entire boat with traps to prank him. And now, let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world are you doing? You gotta help me, Bubbles. Nightmare Freddy locked me inside of this prison. Don't worry, GE, I'll help you. Wait, but how? Just like this. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Freddy Fazbear build challenge. Freddy Fazbear? That's so cool. But wait a second, what side are you gonna go on? The green side or the blue side? Well, since it's my favorite color, I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side? That's my side! Oh, what the I was just kidding, GE, the blue side's way better anyway. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles, but we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, I'm gonna type in the command. And oh my god, our Freddy Fazbear just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. And where should I put it? Hmm. Wait, I know. Let's put it right inside of Freddy's toe over here. Let's make the entrance out of some ghost blocks disguised as emeralds. And because emeralds are GE's favorite block, I know that it's gonna lure him in my trap. For my fake entrance, I'm going to be making a moving parkour with a fake treasure at the end. Let me just build out the room real quick, and then fill up the entire floor with some super hot lava. And now we can start building our moving parkour jump with these super special blocks. Let me just place down a motor like this, and then connect a few blocks with some super glue. And I know you might be thinking, Bubbles, the blocks literally aren't moving. Well, if I just flip a switch and turn it on, look at that, it's starting to spin. To make it across, GE's going to have to time the jump just like this, and wait for it to turn to the other side. It's pretty difficult, so I can't wait to see GE try it out. But because our parkour jump is completed, we can place his fake treasure at the end. When GE goes to open up this chest, it's just gonna break the blocks under him and he's gonna fall. This fall is super short and not even that scary, so because of that, I'm gonna build a little trap for him to fall into, and we're gonna be making it out of bedrock so he has no way to escape. Let's put down some pressure plates right under the drop, and now when GE falls down into the trap, it's gonna spawn in Foxy the pirate. Ah, he does so much damage. Ah. This prank is absolutely hilarious, so make sure to stick around to see GE fall for it. But just like that, and my fake entrance is completed. Before moving on to building the real one, I want to go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition, so let me just break out a few blocks just like this, and wait, we can see GE building. All right, just a few more blocks, and there we go. My Freddy Fazbear looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Beaver? What the? Why is GE talking to a beaver? Has he gone crazy? You like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna place a ton of traps here on my entire build with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left to build this, so this is going perfect. Oh no, is that TNT? And wait, a second he said eight minutes i gotta get back to my build go, go, go. all right and now that we're done with the fake entrance it's time to put in the real one i think it would be really funny if we put it right inside of freddy fazbear's belly right over here so let me just break out a few blocks like this and then we can replace it with this super secret door and look at that it's so hidden you can barely even tell anything's there now let's go inside and start building our first official trap for the first obstacle i'm gonna be building freddy fazbear's pizzeria so let me just build out the room real quick and the only possible exit in this room is through this door right over here i know the door is super easy to get to right now, but it's not gonna be when Freddy's guarding it. Freddy is not gonna let GE pass unless he picks the correct food to eat. The two choices are gonna be Freddy's pizza and a ball of lettuce. I know that GE absolutely loves vegetables, so I think he's gonna pick the lettuce. But too bad for him, the lettuce is gonna be the wrong answer. When GE goes to pick up the lettuce, it's gonna make Freddy super duper mad. Ah! Make sure you stick around to see GE get jump scared by Freddy. But if GE's smart and eats Freddy's pizza, then he can safely walk around and move to the next level. For the second obstacle of my Freddy Fazbear, GE's gonna have to go through a boss fight. Let's make this room big enough for the battle, and now we can place down some super secure iron bars to make sure that the boss doesn't escape. To help me spawn in the mob, you have to hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, one. Thank you for subscribing, and oh my goodness! She even has her little cupcake as well. There's no way that GE is gonna be able to defeat her, so we're gonna have to give him some gear to help him out. We're gonna be giving him a full set of this copper armor and this super cool copper sword. But it's all gonna be inside of this password protected chest. Let's just set the password to 5555 and let's go ahead and put everything inside. Let's go! The only way for GE to figure out the password is by pulling one of the levers on the wall. And because the right lever is right, the left one is gonna be wrong. When GE goes to pull the lever on the left, it's just gonna teleport him into the room with nightmare. Chica! Ah! It's gonna be hilarious when GE falls for that. If GE pulls the correct lever instead, it's gonna drop a piece of paper with the code written on top. And let's go, our Chica boss fight room is completed. For the next obstacle in my build, I'm gonna be making the world's most dangerous parkour. This parkour is classified as the most dangerous because it's gonna be above a pit of a million creepers. We're gonna start off with a few easy jumps just like this, and then we're gonna spice it up with a few super thin fence jumps. There we go, and then he'll have to successfully bounce on this spring super close to the creepers. This spring will bounce him to this platform right over here, where he's gonna be able to pick 
pick up a paraglider. Using this paraglider, he can either glide to the platform on the left or the platform on the right. Both of these platforms are going to have an exit door, but only one of them is going to be right. And once again, because right is right, we're just going to change these blocks right here to some ghost blocks. So now when GE decides to glide to this platform, he's just going to fall right through. With the jumps of the parkour completed, we can now spawn in a million creepers. And oh my god, look at all those creepers ready to blow up GE. This parkour looks like it's straight out of Ohio, but now that we're done with it, we can move on to building the next trap. But before I do that, I want to go troll GE real quick. I secretly placed down a little chest right over here before the competition. So let me go inside and grab my invisibility potion and my nightmare balloon boy spawn egg. And now let's just break out a few blocks in the wall and we can see GE building. Wow, my Freddy Fazbear is turning out so good. I'm almost finished. Wait, did he say he's almost finished? Let me hurry up and splash his invisibility potion. And look at that, we're completely invisible. Now let's just fly up to him so we can prank him. All right, now that that looks finished, I'm gonna move on to the other leg. And now before GE finishes his build, let's just spawn in a whole bunch of these nightmare balloon boys. And wait a second, why am I getting hit? Ah! What the heck? Is that a nightmare balloon boy? Get him, get him. Ah! It looks like he already died. And let's hurry up while GE's busy respawning. Let me go in my inventory and grab a bazooka. And then let's blow up his build. Run away, run away. Wait a second, what was that sound? I think he heard the explosion. Oh no, what just happened to my build? I can't believe he has no idea that it was us. Wait a second, was it you balloon boy? Get over here. No way, he's shooting at the balloon boys. This is super bad. And we only have five minutes left to finish building this. So we gotta hurry up. Wait, what? Did he say five minutes? That was a super funny prank, but we gotta get back to our build. Go, go. I had no idea we only had a few minutes left. I gotta build this fast. For this next obstacle, GE's gonna have to go through a laser jet ski course. Finish up the room and then we can fill up this entire pit with a whole bunch of water. Now that that's completed, we can spawn in this $1 million jet ski. This thing goes super fast and is super fun to ride, but it won't be fun for GE because he's gonna have to maneuver through these super deadly lasers. And just to show you guys how powerful these lasers are, I'm gonna spawn in this zombie right here and look at that, he's already dead. Like I said, GE's gonna have to be very, very careful. Let's keep putting down lasers on the rest of this course, just the last few over here, and look at that, our laser course is completed. We'll even add some spikes along the walls to make it even more difficult. I have no idea how GE is going to get through all of this, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta build my next trap. For this next room, GE is going to have to play some button roulette. Let's go ahead and place on a red button, a green button, and a blue button. And because blue is the most amazing, most beautiful color in the world, it's going to be the correct button, which leaves the green one and the red one to be wrong. Let's go ahead and put a command block behind each of these buttons. Now when GE goes to press his red button, it's just going to instantly destroy him. Haha. <laughs> also, I have no idea why, but I have a gut feeling that GE is going to press the green one. And when he does, it's going to instantly spawn in Bonnie the rabbit. Oh my goodness, he does so much damage. Ah! I can't wait to see GE get wrecked by Bonnie. But because blue is the correct answer, if he presses it, it's going to activate this secret iron door right over here. And he can move on to the last and final obstacle. For the last and final obstacle, GE is going to have to pick if he wants to pull the diamond lever or the emerald lever. Let's build out the emerald lever real quick, just like this. And then the diamond lever over here. There we go. And because we already know that diamonds are way better than emeralds, the diamond side is going to give him his treasure and the emerald side is going to be a trap. So let's put a sneaky little command block behind the emerald side and now when GE pulls this lever on the emerald side it's gonna break the block under him and he's gonna fall to his death just like this <laughs> however if GE actually pulls the correct diamond lever it's gonna spawn in a whole bunch of emeralds for him holy look how many are spawning in but just like that our freddy fazbear build is completed and look at that the timer went off as well now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds hey GE wait wh where are you GE get over here ah! What the heck was that for, GE? Haha, <laughs> you should have saw them look in your face. Oh my gosh. Well, now that we're done with our builds, whose are we checking out first? Well, since my builds obviously way better than yours, you should check out mine. Sounds good to me. We can save the best for last. What are you talking about, Bubbles? We should look at the best right now. Check out my Freddy Fazbear. Whoa, what the heck? This is actually pretty good. But, uh, GE, where are the rest of his legs? Uh, uh, Freddy doesn't have any legs, remember? All right, that's the biggest cap you ever told. But, GE, how do I even get in your build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color is so some blue. And blue should be super easy to spot on this brown build. And look at that. I see it right over there. Good job, Bubbles. You figured it out. But now we can open it up and go inside. And wait a second, GE. Why are there a whole bunch of invisible blocks? This is my invisible maze. And if you make it to this chest, you can get your prize. Invisible maze? Well, I love mazes and I'm super good at them. Let me just make my way through this maze. And look at that, GE. I'm already super close to the chest. All right, but can you make it? Come on, I'm literally one block away. It looks like I made it. It. Good job, Bubbles, and since you went through that super hard trap, you can get your prize. Wait, my prize already? It better be some diamonds. And, uh, gee, why am I floating? And are these a bunch of spikes? Ow! 
<laughs> what the heck, J.E.? There was literally nothing in that chest. Is this the fake entrance? Yup, I have no idea how you fell for that. And you're gonna have to find the real entrance now. <laughs> is it inside of Freddy's eye over here? Nope. Nope. Is it in his nice little bow tie? No. Not even close. J.E., where is this real entrance? I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Hurry, guys, I really want to know where this real entrance is. So hit that like and subscribe button and Three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, GE, now that they liked and subscribed, tell me where the entrance is. Fine, I guess I'll show you where it is. And I have no idea how you didn't miss it because it's literally in his arm right over here. Wait, what? That's so hidden. How could I have seen that? I don't know, Bubbles. Maybe if you weren't such a noob. What the? You're the noob, not me. Are you serious, right now? I have no idea what you're talking about. But now that you're inside, you're going to have to choose between the green ladder and the blue ladder. The green or the blue? Well, we already know my favorite color is blue, so I'm going to go up the blue ladder. All right, so let's see what's inside. I bet it's going to be some diamonds, GE, and, oh, uh, wait, 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 why am I dying? Ah! Haha! <laughs> Are you serious right now, GE? You put lava in the blue ladder? Yeah, I'm serious right now, Bubbles, because blue's the wrong ladder. Oh, I guess I'll go up this nasty green one, then. Let's see what's at the top, and, oh, uh, GE, what are those? These are a bunch of water scorpions, and if you don't get past my impossible parkour, you're gonna get eaten alive. A bunch of water scorpions? I've never seen those before, and I'm not trying to find out what they do. So let me just hurry up and make it through this parkour. Come on, come on. This is super duper easy, GE. Are you gonna make it? Well, there's only a few jumps left, so I obviously am. And uh, wait a second, what just happened? Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. They just ate you up. And now I have to do the whole parkour all over again. But looks like I'm already almost at the end again. And there's just one more jump. Can you make it? Let me get a little running start. And come on, I made it, GE. And uh, GE, are those a bunch of spikes? Yup, and you're gonna have to use a jetpack to go all the way through. Wait a second, a jetpack? How am I supposed to fly this thing? Let me first put it on and wait a second ge this actually looks super cool yeah it does but wait a second have you never flew a jetpack before uh i have but just too long ago ge i don't remember oh my gosh well you're gonna have to remember because you're gonna get eaten up by these spikes oh no i guess i'll try it out let me turn on the engine and let's just see if i can make it through just slow and steady and wait these spikes are doing so much damage to me already ah! oh no it's okay, Bubbles. Try to. Wait a second, G. I think you made a mistake in your course. Wait, what? That's impossible, Bubbles. Oh, yeah? Then why can't I just fly through it like this? Wait, what the? No, no, no. That's not fair. You're cheating. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my. Yeah, well, you're definitely not getting past my next obstacle. And remember, Bubbles, no jetpack. All right, G. But wait, are those a bunch of Mr. Krabs? Yup, and they're trying to take your money. So make sure to not fall down there. What the? Okay, I guess I have to be very careful. But wait a second, G. You made this a little too easy. I see the lever right over here. Yeah, I guess he found it. So what happens if you press it? What do you mean? I'm gonna make it to the other side and... Uh, uh, wh what the heck? Why am I in the pit with Mr. Krabs? Haha! <laughs> Are you serious, Rainy on GE? That lever just teleported me into the pit. Of course it did, Bubbles. I wouldn't make it that easy. But maybe you can try looking around and find another way. Hmm, I guess you're right. Let me just look around this room super carefully. Oh, wait a second, GE. This green fence looks oddly suspicious. Uh, green fence? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let me just try clicking it. And look at that. I got a bouncy spring. And now with the spring, I could just place it on this block just like this and bounce myself across. Nice job, Bubbles. You figured it out. Out, but now that you made it across, we can open up these doors and go to the next section. Sounds good. And, uh, gee, why are there a whole bunch of bees there? This is my army of bees, and you're gonna have to fight them. What the? That's literally like 50 versus 1. Yeah, it is, but you're built different, Bubble, so I'm gonna open up the walls in 3, wait, 2, Wait, 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 gee, stop, stop, stop. What the heck, man? You're about to fill me up with bee stings. I'm gonna need some gear to be able to defeat them, GE. Some gear? Fine. I guess you can have some gear. I had some items all around this room, and if you find them all, you can be ready to fight the bees. It's some items around the room. Well, looking at the walls covered in paintings, I'm sure that they're behind them. So let me just start breaking off all these paintings just like this. Come on. And look at that, G. I found a chest. Good job, Bubbles. And whoa, there's a dragon scale chest plate. Oh yeah, and it's my favorite color. But let me just keep breaking off the paintings on this wall here. And look at that, another chest. Whoa, and now we have some dragon scale leggings. But I still need a few more items, so let me just keep breaking through. And let's go. I found the boots and a sword. Good job, Bubbles. Just one more chest left. Can you find it? This is the only area I I didn't check, so it's gotta be here. And look at that, I found it. Whoa, GE, I'm looking super duper cool and ready for a battle. You look super dripped out, Bubbles. And now that you found all the items, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. 
fight. What the? There's literally so many of them. And they're all attacking you. Wait a second, GE. They're literally doing no damage to me because my armor is super duper strong. Wait, really? Are you serious, Rainio? I should have thought about that earlier. And look at them. There's some trying to escape, but I'm just going to take them down. And there's only one more bee left. Can you get him? I got him. Your trap was super easy to get through, GE. I guess it was, Bubbles. I didn't know why it was so weak. But since he made it through fair and square, we can open up this trap door to go to the next section. And wait a second, GE. Where am I? Welcome to the button room, and you're going to have to choose between the blue button and the green button. The blue and the green? I have a feeling it would make the green one the right one, but I still got to stick to my guts and pick the blue one. So let's just see what happens. And wait, is that Chica? Ah! <laughs> what the heck? I should have just trusted myself and pressed the green one. There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. And now you only have one more option left, the green button. Ew, let me just press it from a distance like this. And wait, it just teleported me to the next room. Yup, and you have one more choice left. Are you going to choose the green treasure or the blue treasure? What, the blue or the green again? Well, now that I know that you made the green button the right one, it's got to be the green side. Wait, what the? Yep, you thought I was going to fall for your trap, didn't you? Well, let me just open up this chest to collect my prize. And wait a second, why am I in the void? <laughs> I knew you were going to fall for that, Bubbles. That was super funny. What the heck, GE? The one time I choose green. But I guess it's not too bad because now I could go down the beautiful blue side. Not so fast, Bubbles. Now it's green. <laughs> wait, what the? Ew. Oh my gosh, let me just stay on this blue carpet and open up this chest. And whoa, a whole bunch of diamonds and rotten flesh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second, why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. <laughs> Well, GE, now that I went through your boat, do you want to go through mine? Of course, Bubbles. Let's go. Whee! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me see. And oh my god. Don't you just love my super amazing Freddy Fazbear? This build is huge. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm the world's best Minecraft builder. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but this build's literally ginormous. How do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a little hint, GE. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? So green. But wait a second. I don't see any green on this build. You just gotta look a little bit closer. Come on. I just gotta look really close. And there we go. It's right on this too. Good job, GE. Now you can just walk through to the first official trap. And wait a second. What is this? Welcome to my moving lava parkour. You're gonna have to make this jump if you want to get your prize. You're moving lava parkour? That looks super scary, but lucky for me because I'm a parkour pro. So let me just make this jump over here. Come on. Nice. And now I'm gonna make it across. Let's go. No way. I can't believe you actually made that, but now you can collect your prize. So let me just open up this chest real quick and wait a second. Where am I right now? Foxy's gonna get you. There's a bunch of foxies. Ah! Haha, <laughs> I can't believe you just fell for my trap. That was so unfair, Bubbles. Is this a fake entrance? Yep, and that also means you're gonna have to go find the real one now. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's inside of his eye and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of his super giant microphone and oh my. Not even close. Bubbles, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Nope, I'm not gonna give you a hint because you're a noob. Wait a second, I'm a noob. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, uh, 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 what the heck? What the heck? Okay, you're not a noob, you're not a noob. Ah. All right, GE, I'll tell you where it is. And I don't know how you missed it, GE. It's right inside of Freddy Fazbear's belly button. Are you serious, right now? There's no way I could have found that. But let me just open this up and whoa. Is this Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria? Yep, and Freddy's guarding your exit. So you're gonna have to pick if you want to eat the pizza or if you want to eat the lettuce. The pizza or the lettuce? Well, you know me, Bubbles. I'm super healthy. So let me just eat the lettuce real quick. And mmm, this is so delicious. Uh, gee, I think you made Freddy mad. How did I make Freddy mad? Here, do you want some lettuce? And oh no. Why is he attacking me? Haha, <laughs> GE, there's no way you just picked the lettuce. This is literally Freddy's pizza. Are you serious, Rainio? Well, I guess pizza is really good. Maybe they should make lettuce pizza or something. So let me just eat this up real quick and nice. And look at that. Freddy's not mad at all. Now you can just walk past him and go through this door. Let's go. And wait a second. What is this? That's Nightmare Chica and you're gonna have to fight her, GE. She looks super scary. And wait a second. I'm gonna have to fight her? I don't have any items. Well, I figured you wouldn't be strong enough. So there's a whole bunch of items inside this chest right over here. Whoa, that's a relief. So let me just open it up real quick. And really, dude, why is there a password? Because I wouldn't make it that easy for you, GE. You're gonna have to pick one of these levers on the side to get the password. Well, you know what they say, Bubbles. Left is left and right is right, so it can't be the right one. I'm gonna open the left one. Let's go and wait a second. Oh, no. Why is she attacking me? Ah! Haha. <laughs> GE, you literally said it yourself. The right one is right and you still picked the left one. Oh, my gosh. That's so unfair, Bubbles. Well, let me just open the right lever and whoa. Is that a password? Yep, and now you can use it to open up this chest. So, let me just type in 5555 and whoa. I have a bunch of copper armor in this copper sword. Whoa, you're looking super cool, but wait a second. Why are your eyes covered up? Bubbles, I can't see. Help me. Oh my gosh. I guess you're just gonna have to fight without your helmet. Oh no. Oh no. Let me just take it off real quick and 
Woo. There we go. Oh my gosh, GE. Well, now that you're ready, the walls are gonna drop in three, two, one, fight. Come over here, Nightmare Chica. And holy, she's already got you. That's okay, Bubble. Second time's the charm. Get out of here. I don't like your cupcake anyways. Let's see if you can get her. Come on, just one more hit. And no way, you actually got her. Yup, and whoa, she just dropped a ton of pizza. That looks super good, but now that you defeated Nightmare Chica, you can open up the store and move to the next level. And wait a second, what is this? Welcome to my super dangerous creeper parkour. One wrong move and you're gonna get exploded by these creepers. This looks super scary, but Bubbles, I'm literally a parkour pro, so this is gonna be a piece of cake. Well, let's see if you can make these fence jumps. All right, come on. And now I just have to jump on this spring. And whoa, this parkour is easy peasy. You might think it's easy so far, but now you're gonna have to take that glider and glide to one of these platforms. Glide to one of these platforms? Is this even a challenge, Bubbles? Obviously, I'm gonna go on this platform real quick and wait a second. Why am I not going through? Why am I falling? Kaboom! Ah! Haha, <laughs> I can't believe you just exploded. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? That was super unfair. Yep, you just glided into some ghost blocks. And now your only option left is to glide to this platform over here. Oh my gosh. Well, those creepers just phantom tax me, but it's all right. I'm gonna jump over here. And look at that, you made it. Let's go. Because you made it through my creeper parkour, now you're gonna have to go through my jet ski course. Your jet ski laser course? This looks super dangerous. But let me just go on this boat real quick. And whoa, I'm literally breezing through this course right now. And oh no, my boat just broke. No way. You already died. It's all right, Bubbles. I'm totally gonna make it this time. Let me just make this turn really carefully and slowly. Come on. No way you're making it through. All right, I just have to be super careful. And wait a second. This looks really hard. Oh no. Don't worry, GE. You got this. I just got a full send it. Come on. Ow. And I made it. Nice job. I guess second time was the charm. But now we can open up this door and move on to the next level. And in this room, you're gonna have to play button roulette. Which button are you gonna press, GE? Button roulette. Let me look at my options. We have a big red button this beautiful green button and ew, the stinky blue button. What the heck, GE? The blue button doesn't even stink. You're being so dramatic. You're definitely capping, but I already made my choice. I'm gonna choose the green button. Let's go. And oh no, is that Bonnie? Ah! Get him, Bunny, get him. Haha, <laughs> there's no way you thought the green one was gonna be the right one. Are you serious, Rainio? But it looks so good. In my opinion, I think the red one looks better, so you should press it. You might be onto something, Bubbles. It's super big and red and shiny. I'm totally gonna press it. Really, dude? Ha <laughs> ha. There's no way I just convinced you to press the red button. And now your only option left is the blue one. The blue button? No, 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 no. I don't want to press it. I don't want to press it. Stop being a chicken, GE. Just press it. Get me out of here. I don't want to press this button. Uh, GE, are you sure you don't want to press it? Wait a second. Is that a bunch of poisonous potatoes? Get over here. And wait a second. I accidentally pressed it. Well, good thing you did because you made it to the last and final obstacle. Are you going to pull the diamond lever or pull the emerald lever? That's a super hard choice. But obviously, I'm going to choose the diamond lever. Let's go. Wait, what? Just kidding. Green is way better. So let me just pull it real quick and oh no. Ah! <laughs> I obviously wouldn't make the emerald lever the right one because diamonds are way better. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but it is the only option left. So let me just pull it real quick and whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds. It's raining emeralds. Let's go. Now that we've looked at each other's builds, whose do you think is better? Hmm, well, looking carefully at both of our builds, I think that mine is better. Wait, what? But yours doesn't even have any legs. Mine is way better. Are you serious, right, Neil? Then who wins? Hmm, uh, I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE! No, everyone comment Bubbles! Ah! And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then click the video on screen. Go, click it, click it. Bye! Bye! Are you serious, Neil?